in uh, section 2 of module 6 we have these items to work on and I think I could make it a little bigger a little bit so statements 1 through 6 whether they're true or false and your supportive argument and then for 7 through 10 we will ask questions as to determine from the graph whether A, which is this value, is greater than 1 or a fraction that is between 0 and 1 based on the shape of the graph. Alright, let's pause and see what you can do. So you can see how you've done. 1 through 3 are true and 6 is true. So let's look at number 1 here. This graph, which is sort of the typical graph, and that would be like a number 7 where this point is 0 comma 1 and that is true when it's in this form even though this number a may be a 2 or 3 or 4 when the exponent is just like that then it always goes through all of them always go through this point now for this graph in which we have a fraction as an ex as your base raised to an exponent this looks like this one and this line as these values get larger gets closer and closer to the x axis out here but it never touches so that's true now here we are raising let's say a 2 to an exponent but minus 3 what does that do well when it's in this exponent form and it's a negative 3 we said it goes in the opposite direction of the negative sign which is what makes it positive so it moves it translates it we say three units to the right where negative three you think would be to the left when it's in this form it translates it to the right three units now in this one this is incorrect because we said this value out here is actually your y intercept that is where it will go through the y axis but since it's negative it doesn't translate it up it translates it down so that's what makes this false the negative 3 there actually translates it down for number 5 the graph of this which is similar to this one gets close to but never touches the y-axis it goes through the y-axis it never touches the x-axis that would make this true but the way they have it stated that's false now in number six this is the inverse of what we have here the graph gets close to but never touches the y-axis 
if we were to look at one of these, it would look a little bit like so. It would cross the x-axis, but would never touch the y-axis. That would be the inverse of this. So that is true. Okay, now let's take a look at what we have here. What we are looking for is to see if this graph indicates that A is greater than 1 or A is a fraction between 0 and 1. That's what this is. So, let's see what you got because in this case, anytime it looks like this, it's this one. So we'll call this one 1, and we'll call this one 2. So this is a 1. This is a 1. Now when it looks like this, let's put it right there. This is a 1. This is a 1. And this way, these are 2's. These are all fractions. Okay. Now, just going on, if we have time, to look at these. And often, all you have to do is kind of pick out from multiple choice. You don't have to plot points, particularly, uh, to get a graph. Uh, you're going to select which one it is. So our basic form, let's just make a little thing here, that if it's this, it's going to, everything goes through 0, 1, and then now 3 to the first would go up here, we go over 1, up 3, so this curve would look like so. Now if your number is a 5, and we did this in class. It's going to go similar to this, but go closer this way, because this is a 3 here and this is a 5 there. And if it's a 2x, then it's going to go like so. But then plus 3, that means you raise it from, and it goes through something like that it translates it up. This is going to translate it down. This is going to translate it to the right. This is going to translate it to the left. These are fractions that look like this. And again, through practice and watching the notes that we did in class will be very useful in this. Okay, let's wrap this up.